Welcome in Aquarius. Welcome to your July 2024 Zodiac monthly reading. Um, remember this is a general reading. Not everyone is going to resonate with it. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just leave it for the next. I'm just going to tap in real quick to see a um, little bit of the astrology this month. Just running down the list. Not going to get too deep into it. Um, uh, for July, beautiful month of strong energies. So stay grounded, get your water, um, you know what I mean? So on the second we have um, Neptune goes retrograde. Today as I'm recording this on June 29th, Saturn is retrograde for the next five months. That's the one you want to pay attention to um, because that's just a message with that is just don't engage, don't engage. It's a lot of karmic energy coming to the forefront, not just individually, but in the collective on the TV, in the news, just don't watch it. Um, on the second, the sun squares the lunar nodes. That's a great time to go back and look at the what you were um, manifesting uh, during the eclipse cycle, March and April of this year, specifically the April 8th eclipse. And this is just a, a halfway mark between that eclipse and the other uh, October. It's kind of a... Not, almost a halfway it's just it's a check-in point um to see where you're at if you're if you're where you want to be then great if not then you're given opportunities to make adjustments um the second through the seventh we have a serious uh, uh gateway serious is considered our spiritual sun and it is in alignment with our sun and the earth and it's streaming some beautiful galactic energy um new downloads and upgrades uh, on the 5th, we do have a Cancer New Moon. Uh, we do have, I'm just going to go through a very few few things. 7-7 seven, seven portal, the 7-17 seven, portal, those are, that's a twin flame portal, um, preparing us for the Lionsgate portal, which is the 888 portal this year. Um, we do have Mercury is starting his pre-shadow on the 15th, so just put a pin in that. Electronics might be, start going wonky. Sun, Chiron, uh, square to Chiron on that same day. So your, um, your hidden wound, your, your core wound, it might be illuminated, I'm hearing. Um, that has a channel through for anyone else. So that's specific for Aquarius. Um, I'm sure it's for everyone, but it, it didn't come through for any of the other um, videos. So on the 20, our 21st, we have our second full moon in Capricorn. We had the first one. Um, in one de at one degree Capricorn on June 21st. This one is at 29 degrees. That's the final degree of Capricorn. Um, closing out a cycle. A lot of karmic clearing happened with that first Capricorn full moon. So um, I feel like this one's just going to be a, um, like getting our feet back solidly on the ground here. Leo season starts on the 22nd. Um, Chiron goes retrograde until December on the 26th. Um, there are more things, but it's just, you know, I just wanted to touch a little bit of base there. Um, what does that all mean? You know, in general, the month is going to feel like a very tight skin that you want to get off. Get it off me. Um, you might feel like you're being, you know, moving through a straw. Just, it's just tight fingers for some. It depends on where everything falls in your, in your, your chart for sure, you know. So, poor Aquarius. Let's see what the major themes are. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for being here. Um, appreciate everyone being on this channel. For Aquarius, Divine Mother, Divine Father, Ooh, Holy Spirit, High Self, Aquarius, just take a deep breath and settle in. Let your spine relax. I'm being asked to say, I feel like you've been up against a brick wall and, and, and had your back up against a wall and, and butting your head against a wall for a long time in some area of your life or all of it. For Aquarius, July 2024, Spirit, thank you. Knowledge, the abyss, secrets, lessons yet to be realized. You big big um pluto death and rebirth energy moon energy kind of a combination of it all going on there
there for me. Really drawn into the bird at the top of the, the card here, receiving some messages from loved ones as to which direction to go in. Might be very emotional month for you. Um, I almost wanted to say Pluto because the Pluto symbol is right there. Um, I'm sure that's also Pluto, the planet. Not not the moon, but I'm, I'm picking up the moon energy. Very watery, very mystical energy, which is Pluto. Pluto is in your sign. Didn't remember that. Yeah, Pluto moved into Aquarius. It's, um, Pluto is retrograding right now, and it will, in your sign, Aquarius, um, and it will, um, it's in your sign for the next 20 years, so we've, you've got a big death and rebirth process for the next 20 years. I feel like it's been going on longer than that. It maybe is when it was in, when Pluto was in Capricorn, when it dipped into Aquarius to give us a little bit of a taste of what that's going to be like. Um, your world may have turned upside down. I'm, I'm hearing, is there one more in here? <laughs> there was, okay, not anymore, okay. Okay, spirit shifting, it's shifting the message. Oh, that's of course that happens with any, any of the decks. Card falling over. Do you feel like just completely exhausted and run out? No energy. Depleted, deflated. I'm, I'm kind of picking up, I don't know if it was, was it last month or the month before your your sign, um, your zodiac reading. Was it that? I don't know. I remember, I'm, I think I might be picking up on a continuation of that. I have been making a lot of notes with each reading to, um, I like, I, I like going back and reading my notes and the titles to see and compare them to the, the videos I'm doing now. Um, just to see a, a progression or if there's a storyline. And for the majority of, of the zodiacs, there has been um, a progression of energies. So it's, it's nice to be able to, for me as a Capricorn, to be able to pan out and to see the how the pieces sit to fit together here. For Aquarius, we're gonna do three, three, and three for your reading as we always do at the beginning of the month. Aquarius, so let's see for Aquarius. Oh my gosh, goodness, five of wands, oof, oof, page of swords, um, hangman, being asked to keep it in the reverse, The message I'm picking up on Aquarius is um, this is an energy of not wanting to see the truth about something, not wanting to have anything to do with spirituality, just like debunking everything, um, not not wanting to even know that you're on an ascension journey, an ascension path. I don't care about enlightenment. I don't care about any of that. You know, I just very harsh, very cold energy like your faith has been stolen from you. Oh, Aquarius. I don't feel like this is going to resonate with everyone for sure. A very specific storyline. I think I had a flip. I've got multiple flips. All right, let's start at the beginning here. Where are we at here? Let's go this way. There's one. Thought I saw all three of them flip. Feeling Pluto energy very strongly here. Death and rebirth. Yep, there we go. Is there anything else? Well, there's there's death there. It's surrounding the star and the ten of cups. Right in the middle. 
you've had your world shaken up. All right, let's see what came out. Oh, the shadow. Just got the devil energy. The high priest, the mystic, her vamp. And the Knight of Wands. I'm getting a big deja vu, like somebody, you know, coming in. It's an old cartoon. I'm dating myself, I know. We're back in the, um, I think it's a 50s, 60s cartoon. Mighty, is it Mighty Mouse? Here I come to save the day. Doo -doo -doo. Um, I'm getting really nauseous here in your energy, Aquarius. I, I apologize, um, but I feel like you need to know that there's something going on. Maybe you're ignoring it. Um, your soul, your soul is screaming for you to pay attention to it. Oh my gosh. You are being asked To not ignore this. I feel like I, I just want to break down and cry. That's how hard this has been for you. There's been, there's, there's been, I was just going to say, there's been some dark energies around you. There's been some really dark energies around you. Somebody's under a psychic attack here. And you've, you've fallen prey to it. But I feel like you may be blaming it on something else. Something that's occurred in your life. This is someone who has... I feel like they've been in the light. They've been in the light. They were discovering who they were. They were becoming the enlightened being that they came here to be. But something has just... Something happened. And the darkness is looming all over this energy but God has not left you the divine has not left you it's still there it's still within and I feel like this knight of sword or knight of wands sorry well knight of swords could be coming in very quickly for, for sure with the knight of wands energy this energy is somebody who comes in is and just tries to they say something to you they say something to you that wakes you up, or at least it begins to wake you up. This is very important news. You need to pay attention to it. I gotta write that down. can't even write when I'm trying to write fast I can't write because it channels okay um yeah there's there is opportunity here to save yourself to get out of it there are people around you that are in the light they're good for you you might be pushing them away like because of something that's happened um some tr traumatic dark thing happened and you're like I don't deserve the goodness I don't deserve it just ah oh, it just it just turns you so cold and so hard or at least that's what you're telling yourself or you're showing in the outside there it's not yeah it hasn't because there's still a spark in there there's still life there's still life inside of you, Aquarius. Don't let the darkness win. Final card for July. Where is Aquarius going? Hitting me in the face is what you're doing. The lovers. All you've got to do is choose it. All you've got to do is choose love. And it lifts you right up out of this, this devil energy. Somebody's under psychic attack here. This is a, this is a very 
exclamation point kind of reading here. You're, you're, if you so choose, if you choose love, and if you allow that to come in, it's, it's waiting for you. You're going to be moved right toward it. King of Cups, Ace of Cups. You can trust this. It's very sincere. It's like the total opposite of this, of what you've been through. I don't feel like you believe that you actually I feel like you because you turned your back on your 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 journey your your spirituality over the next 20 years Aquarius this may not take 20 years it may take a day a year a month but by the end of this you will be totally transformed. You're going to start seeing it around the middle of this journey. So, you know, in a few years, you're going to start seeing it. We're already, we've already had it, you know. When did Pluto, what, was it March? Pluto went into Aquarius. Lessons yet to be realized. There's still so much more for you to learn here. So whatever, so it, you know, I, I do want to say it's okay that you debunked your spirituality from your beginning up into a point. I'm, I'm going to go last year when Pluto dipped into Aquarius for the first time to, tr to, to try to try it out without training wheels and failed in a sense. It didn't really fail. It was exactly the way it was meant to be. Um... I feel like, um, what was I going to say there? Kind of lost my, my train of thought here. Lost it. All right, let's, um, um, do I even want to dip into this spirit? No, because I feel like you know what I'm talking about here. I feel like you know that there's darkness around you. I feel like you know that you've been under psychic attack. You know it. You're aware of it. The messages are coming in. You're just... There's an aspect of you, probably, perhaps, your human aspect. I don't know how to even phrase it. There's an aspect of you that's been just been lying to yourself, not wanting to hear it, saying, oh, I'm not receiving messages, or this or that, whatever. But then in the next sentence, you'll say, well, you know, I got this through or I, you know, I, I heard from a loved one and that's on the other side. And so there's, it's like, you don't, you don't want to grow. There's something that stopped you from growing your spirituality, but spirits saying, it's like your soul is crying out saying, I need you to pay attention to me now. And there is some, there's, there's people that come across your path, path that are in your life or maybe people you don't even know. Something is said that just changes the tra trajectory for you. There becomes an, uh, there comes an aha moment. It's a small aha moment, but it, it, it reignites you into seeing that every day is a beautiful day. Every day is a new beginning, a new opportunity to start a new, if you didn't, if you didn't, if you went to bed the night before, you felt like you failed. You felt like you, 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 you just was was did a disservice to the to spirit. Then you got another chance, and you deserve that other chance. Every day you wake up, you deserve this new opportunity, Aquarius. There are good people around you. Sisters, you may have two sisters. Form a circle. Do a ritual. I'm seeing three witches. Not casting spells, but just doing a ritual. Honoring themselves. Honoring why they're here. What they came here to do and be. 
Talk to me about this lover's card. Yeah, a whole new world. The new cycle. A new cycle. Queen of Wands, Five of Cups. It lifts you out. It, 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 it. It's like you find yourself in, in the debris from the past. You find yourself. Use this, whatever this is. So whatever happened, whatever dark attack, whatever traumatic experience happened, it happened for your highest good. You just may not want to hear that right now. I think, I think that's what's happened here. You got sick and tired of hearing people say that. People that have been on the path with you. And... On behalf of everyone, I apologize for if they've come across as insensitive. But I feel like by the end of this cycle, by the end of the 20-year cycle with Pluto and Aquarius, you discover that that, that tra traumatic experience showed you who you were. You found you. If only you open up to it. Choose love now. Don't wait. Can I ask, the, what is this um, Knight of Wands um, message here? What has he got to say? Coming in to save the day. I just keep hearing it at cartoons. Here I am to save the day. Here I come to say it. However it goes, I still can never remember it, but I can see it in my mind. We've got the strength card. And oh, sorry about that. This <laughs> is show you my ass. Um I think this person reminds you of your resilience. It re they remind you that you are a magician and you can create whatever world you want. That there's more to this life than what happened here. I do. Uh, I didn't want to go there. Spirit says we do need some energy, some messages around this heavy energy. What do you want to say about that, Spirit? How can we lighten it up, lighten it up there? Thank you. Well, I know you're probably not going to want to hear it, but it was, it was faded. It needed to happen to put you in a better position, to build you. It was a karmic, part of your karmic path, part of your lessons, part of your lessons. I'm not taking all of these. Bottom of the deck, six of cups, or six of wands, still there. I love this. All right, all right, there you go. There you go. See, you haven't wanted to see it, but you do. You, you begin to see it one step by step as you heal you begin to see it so we've got six of swords death moving toward a new life ten of cups choosing hope choosing joy sun card i'm hearing something about eight years in eight years i know that seems like a really long time but time doesn't really exist so uh, you kind of, you know, if you can hold on to that, that what you're moving into already exists. You're just getting into alignment. Your frequency is just uh, recalibrating to pull it in and to, to meet it. And when you do, yeah, there's a lot of truth. You start speaking your truth. I'm hearing for some of you that whatever this traumatic experience was, you talk about it. You talk to others who maybe experiencing the same thing and you become a teacher or a mentor 
you get to you, you begin to share your journey. I love that. I love that. Use it. Use whatever this was for the highest and greatest good of all. Because I feel that that's what you're here to do. You are the high priest, male or female. High priestess, high priest. You, you come with divine wisdom already within you. You may have thought you have already found that. But I feel like you be before whatever this was that happened, I feel like you were only just tapping, just tapping. Tapping into it. Just the beginnings of it. There's just so much more being asked to get one of these for you. So because of the ghostly energy we have this month, I'm going to get a little bit of the Beyond Lemuria energy card for you for your guidance for Aquarius, July 2024. We've got two of them. Well, this one got thrown down, but... No, okay. Well, let's see. We're going to start with this one. Earth, make, nurture, nature. Isn't it beautiful? It's got the high empress energy. Let's see if I can read it here. No one can, no one can hold you the way nature can. Mama Nature is a powerful healer and transmuter of dense energies. She takes it, takes in your out breath and can transform your woes if you can allow yourself to surrender, to lie in her grassy arms, or be embraced by her branches. All experiences, those categorized as good or bad, are part of the natural cycle that allows for the continuation of life. Yeah, they're part of the natural cycle. And I feel like you already know that, but you just don't want to hear it, you know, and, and that's okay. Trying to suppress or control will bring only, uh, will only bring you out of harmony. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Wait till you see the next card. Keep keep the word harmony in your mind here. Um, so this has, it's taking you out of harmony. Nature is all around you. Notice her when you feel like no one else can hold you. She can. Get out in nature. Get your feet on the grass. And look at this. I'm feeling twin flame with this as well. Um, harmonic, harmonic flight. At that this powerful image represents the divine we see when we look deeply into the eyes of another and our armor drops i feel like that's who this is this that's who this is coming in could be a leo sag or aries heavy on the leo and sag um whew. Um, and her armor drops when we meet another being present in the moment with no stories, judgments, or insecurities. When we harmonize our energies with another, we can soar to the sky. We can guide each other higher and higher by encouraging all that has been weighing us down to drop away. The bonds you share give you the power to transmute fear. Put time and awareness into resolving karmic connections or they will continue to play out there may also be a life-changing connection on the horizon while Pluto is in your energy for the next 20 years 19 20 years you know I don't I can't even look that up to see when it transit transits out um, I feel like you're going to be not only in union with the divine within you, inner union. I feel like you're going to be in union with a twin flame. Someone who meets you right where you're at. Who vibrates at the same level as you do. Who matches you intellectually, spiritually, and emotionally. Someone that you recognize as your divine counterpart, yourself in another body. Can't tell you how much I want that for you, Aquarius, with what you've been through.
being a Capricorn who just had Pluto in their sign for the last 20 years, I can tell you, you'll survive. You will survive. Even at times when you don't feel like you can take another traumatic event, keep going because I'm proof that you survive. It builds you, it builds your character, it builds your inner strength, it builds your faith, it builds your I don't know what the word is I want to use. It just you're not gonna know. You're not gonna recognize who you are, who you were today when you look back twenty years ago. You're gonna be like, yeah, I I even you're gonna even look at a photograph of yourself and go, I have no idea who that was. But I know who I am now. I wish you so much love. So many blessings during this time, Aquarius. You've got grip. You just might not know it. I'm going to leave you there, okay? I love you so much. I love you so much. And if you need me, you reach out, okay? I love you. See you next time.